107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. Um, the moment I knew that this is something that I wanted to do um, was when I was uh, about 14 and I was in the car and I mean just the adrenaline rush and and the <laughs> excitement of being in the car smelling the the fumes and the burning rubber it just it just made me um, know exactly what I wanted to do and I knew that at that age you know um, I could make a career out of it and because at the end of the day it's a sport but it's also a business and at that age I realized that this is what I wanted to do because you know when you're younger you um, your career goals change like every day one day you may want to be a doctor one day you want to be a lawyer but um i realized right then that this is what i wanted to make a career out of yeah nascar is definitely not that popular um in the african-american community and i believe it's because they really don't have well we really don't have anyone to identify with um they they don't want to look at it and, and they don't have anyone that they could connect to and feel as if they can identify with that person. But yes, I definitely um, plan to change it. That's one of my goals because it's a beautiful sport and, and a lot of people aren't aware of it and they don't know about it. And I would love to be the one to, to bring those new fans to NASCAR and, and just have them experience everything that, that I, I love. Um, being a part of new black history, um, it feels good, but since I live in it every day and I'm around it all day, every day, and it's just my life, um, I really don't dwell on the fact that I am the first African American female to have a license. Um, I'm just a driver and I just love to drive, I just happen to be a black female. Discrimination comes <laughs> every day, um, in everyday life. But believe it or not, I've got a lot of positive support from NASCAR and, and some of NASCAR's fans. Um, of course, you're going to always have those people that are just, you know, ignorant and, and just not really good people. But, you know, that's, that's everyday life. You, you're going to have your haters and you're going to have people that's going to try to bring you down. But that's why I go around the country all the time speaking to different schools, different colleges, different high schools, speaking to kids about motivation and, and empowerment and loving yourself and just knowing that there's only one you in this world. Why I try to be anyone else? So, I mean, discrimination comes all the time, but I don't, I pay no attention to it at all. If you were to get in the car with me on a random day, my regular car, um, what kind of music you would hear would probably be Kendrick Lamar, um, ASAP Rocky, Jay-Z, of course Beyonce, um, Adele. I mean, I like all kind of music. I like Daughtry. I mean, I like everything from country to hip-hop to whatever. What I, I believe that there's only two, two types of music. There's good music and bad. <laughs> The most rewarding aspect of my career is actually being blessed and able to do something that I love to do on an everyday basis because I know that there's so many people that are stuck in jobs that they absolutely hate and they're they're doing it because they have to. Um, but also, I, what's rewarding to me is actually being able to give back to someone, being an inspiration to someone. Um, being a role model because there's someone out there that's looking up to me and maybe I just motivated them when they were down and out and, and now they want to be something more than what everybody, everyone else said they, they couldn't be. So that's really the biggest motivation and inspiration to me.